Hi, this is Anna Hackman from Green Talk, and today we're going to talk about leftover vegetable slices. You know, when you make salad, you have extra carrots left over, the, you know, the skins, the ends, the celery tops, the end of onions, the skin, the garlic, you know, and what do you do with it? Well, some of you might compost it, and others of you probably end up throwing it in the trash. But do you know that that's valuable real estate? In fact, you can use that to make stock. I never even thought about it until I read it on one of the blogs that I follow. I'm not sure which one it was, but I said, you know what? I'm going to start keeping them. So what I do is every time I do salad, I put it in a, a big container and I keep it in the freezer because I don't eat enough of it to be able to make stock right away. So probably in about two weeks, three weeks, I have a, I have a lot of, uh, uh, of uh, cuttings and skins. In fact, probably too much because it filled this whole container here, this whole crock pot. I actually made it in the crock pot because um, it's just easier for me. And what I did basically is I threw all my stuff in here. There's carrots that were kind of gross and wiggly and, you know, not great to eat. There's onion skins, which really make the uh, stock taste good. Um, I had, I actually shouldn't have done this. Maybe this is probably why it's a little bit bitter, but I threw in um, some spring garlic I'm not, no, um, it's wild garlic. I've talked about it on my website, um, and I threw them in because I wasn't going to use them. I think that might have made it a little bit bitter, but what you don't want to use, because I've already done this, and don't make the same mistake, do not use potato skins or anything that's really earthy, because it overpowers the stock, and it makes make it taste absolutely terrible. So I use like celery, carrot, onion peels, garlic peels. Um, I don't know if I would have used... Uh, beet skin or anything like that. I think again too earthy um, That I would throw in my composter But if you disagree and you use different things, please let me know in the comments below on uh, or on green talk Because I'm going to also put this on green talk as well um, So this is what my stock looks like It's very dark uh, probably very reminiscent of what you see most vegetable stocks uh, look like it kind of reminds me a little bit more of a mushroom stock even though I don't know if I even use mushrooms um, in, um, in my, uh, crock pot, you know, stew. So, um, it, it's tasty. Um, I think I also left it on a little bit longer than it should have. I think you only really need to do it for like eight hours on low, uh, you know, put it in at night, go to bed, wake up and, and deal with it because I think I burnt some of my vegetables and that's why they smell so bad. So here's real, the quick recipe. All you do is put your vegetables in your crock pot, fill it up above the vegetables, the line, like, you know, fill it up to here. In my case, like I said, it's too much. You really, in this crock pot, you should only be about, about, be about two thirds full. Fill it up above, let it cook, and then you're done. Some people simmer it on the stove top. You could do that as well. Um, I'm better off with a crock pot because I, I probably end up burning that too. So this is Anna Hackman Green Talk, and I look forward to your comments to see if you also have done this and what kind of uh, peels and skins do you use and what what kind of also you know how much of everything do you find that you used uh, makes the stock like I tend to have a lot more carrot peels so I'm wondering if that also makes the stock taste differently um, is Anna Hack from Green Talk and I look forward to your comments